Hello again, minions. Wheezy here. I'm bringing you another weekly wrap-up. Weekly-ish. Gonna get back to being weekly-weekly. Um, but I'm gonna show you what you missed on the channel since the last weekly wrap-up, as well as gonna take an opportunity to repimp some of the other Wheezy platforms so that you guys know how you can get a hold of me outside of YouTube, how you can enhance your Wheezy minion experience. So let's go talk about all of that and let's just talk about it. All right, so let's get right into it. We got quite a bit. I was actually happy with the content that I've been able to get up recently, despite the craziness still going on around me as I'm continuing to unpack. Matter of fact, as I'm recording this, I'm going to stop when this is over and finish unpacking the rest of this stuff. Although, this stuff over here in the corner, maybe we'll talk about that in the future. This is all a bunch of old video games and stuff that I need to sell. I got some original Xbox, Xbox 360, PS1, PS2, PS3. Like, I've got a bunch, like literally hundreds of old video games that I've got to get listed and sold up on eBay because I just, I can't, I, I, I just can't do it anymore. Like, I got so much, I got... So we can talk about, I think, we've talked about in previous videos, but we can talk about more in the future. For the new one, new minions around here, um, my video game lineage and heritage uh, is many and varied. Uh, I have, you can't really see it from there, um, but up in the closet just above out of camera here is a case that holds my Atari Jaguar and Atari Jaguar CD. So, yeah, video games, needless to say, are, are kind of a bit of my heritage, so... Um, I don't know. I'm gonna be listing this stuff, so this stuff's gonna to have to go away over time because I gotta, I gotta, I gotta move through some old video games. But that doesn't matter right now. What matters is I quit Call of Duty Cold War. <laughs> I, uh, we'll see. I don't know how long it'll stick. I mean, I'll probably go back to it very occasionally. But I was sitting down because they did a mid-season update. They released a new weapon, an SMG or some shit like that, and I was like. And they've also made the, the weapon grinds for the mid-season and their weapon unlocks a little bit f more painful. So I sat down and was like, okay, I'll play a couple of games, kind of like prepping for like a here's the fastest way to unlock video for the new SMG like I've done on previous ones. And, well, let's just take a look at a clip. Hey, I killed one. That's one! Fuck this! God, this is so bad. Oh, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't- I really- I really don't think this is worth it. I think this may be my- My official- What the f fucking- I may- I may have to just completely give up on Cold War. This is really not worth my time. It hasn't been at all this whole time anyway, but it definitely isn't. Thanks. For nothing. Yeah, so I'm probably not going to be revisiting Cold War an awful lot, especially as now it is the end of July. Uh, October is right around the corner, which means Battlefield. Um, as well as other games that are hopefully coming up. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm, there's not a whole ton on my radar in the near future. Apparently the new Alien Fireteam game, which I talked about weeks and weeks ago, and it got delayed is going to be coming out at some point. If I can get, like, a couple of people who also like Aliens, because Alien is my all-time favorite franchise. For those of you who saw my old office, I'll get them rehung up, my my little Alien art piece. I don't even have them within range here, but Alien is my all-time favorite franchise, and it has suffered <laughs> from a lack of decent games. I am stalled out <laughs> in yet another attempt to run through Alien Isolation on my... Wheezy Storytime channel. Um, that's That channel has just been completely on the back burner trying to get you guys content during this big crazy time I'm going through. But anyway, let's move on to the next video before this becomes a ridiculously long weekly wrap up. I did a Battlefield 4 game and it's just a live commentary, but it, it was getting back into feeling that old Battlefield feeling where just things just feel like Battlefield, those only in Battlefield moments where you're having a shootout, you blow your way through a wall, a building collapses. I'm so pumped for 2042. That's why I made this Battlefield 4 video. Check out a clip from it and then go check out the video. Let's see if we can, oh no. Did you get him? 
Fuck! Fuck me! Got some shots on him. Building's coming down! Now this is some battlefield shit right here. There we go. Get that fucking kill, baby. This is that shit. This is that shit, yo. Give me that laser lock again. Boom. Vehicle hit. Come on, give me another one. Boom. Another guy up there. Yes, baby. Yeah, playing, playing Battlefield, getting back into that Battlefield feeling is... Uh, making me feel good so uh moving on from that there was the official announcement of battlefield portal it's weird to think that they hadn't announced that the last time i did a weekly wrap up because it feels like they announced it forever ago um but battlefield portal is a new battlefield experience it's going to launch with battlefield 2042 it brings in a lot of classic battlefield content and allows you to make custom game sets custom it looks really exciting I talked about it in a video where I kind of talked over the presentation they did from the EA Play event, EA Play Live event, or whatever it was. So here's a clip from that. Start with, and I love this little Battlefield Bad Company 2 homage right out of the gate. Just Bad Company 2 was really was, especially with the campaign that it had such a great one. But here they're showing like defibrillators. So they show in here like knives versus defibrillators. They show a tank versus a bunch of like uh you know the mobile drones like a, a, a futuristic russian jet being chased by a world war ii plane oh the tracer dart man that just the possibilities for the game modes are insane could you imagine like a game mode where you've got one team that just has aircraft and the other team only has tracer darts and unguided rpgs so the only way for the ground troops to kill the air troops is to get tracer darts or to hit RPG shots like that aren't with the tracer darts just to like lead things properly. I mean, defibs versus knives. I mean, the, 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 just the initial possibilities that they talk about or that they show are insane. Like, and they, they show. So check that out. You can expect to see definitely a, a good amount of Battlefield Portal content right here on this channel. And you stick around to the end of this video where I talk about ways to, to, to really interact with me more. Please, God, some of you need to come and play Battlefield 2042 with me. Hell, play Battlefield with me now. I'm trying to get some times to kind of like where I can announce I'm playing. Stick around to the end. I'm going to give you all my contact stuff. Let's keep going. <laughs> uh, I posted a uh, Modern Warfare game, which I played... Immediately after um, the games where I, the Cold War game that I played when I quit. <laughs> um, but then with Battlefield Portal announcement, I had to kind of interrupt that with that. But I was doing just some of the daily challenges in Modern Warfare. This was an M4 with kind of a shitty <laughs> challenge build. Um, but I still had, uh, you know, decent time with it. Modern Warfare is one of those games where if you use good tactics, use good strategy. It's a well-balanced game, so you can take non-meta builds and still do well, because it's not a piece of shit like Cold War. I'm not gonna get on my soapbox. Here's a clip from that video. Same team, damn it! Precision airstrike available, on your mark. That guy doing a 360 no-scope. I'll have none of it. I may have just stolen my airstrikes kill. Excuse, please. Let's just dump it right out here. So go check that one out if you're still loving Modern Warfare. I know I am. Like, it's just... Have I mentioned it's the best Call of Duty in the series? Because Modern Warfare, in my humble opinion, is head and shoulders above the rest. The best Call of Duty game ever. Um, let's not forget that it also brought us Warzone. 
which is super popular, even though I don't have a squad, so I don't play it much. Um, after that, I did another short. This one, I, it's good. I'm just gonna play it for you here. We lost the lead. Fucking prick. Enemy overhead. Enemy at the destroyed building. Shield confirmed. fucking camp people I just don't fucking camp anyway <laughs> moving on the last video that has gone live as of this video um, is I played a game of Battlefield 5 and then immediately switched over and played a game of Battlefield 4 because I believe Battlefield 2042 is gonna be take Battlefield 5 take Battlefield 4 that is going to be Battlefield 2042 plus a lot of hot new goodness, including a new, a third experience that they haven't even announced yet. So we know base multiplayer for Battlefield. We know Battlefield Portal. They've told us the name, but I've forgotten it. There's a third Battlefield experience that's not going to be a battle royale, but it's going to be a competitor, competitor, a competitor in that space. I think they're, they potentially are going to do something really great where they're like, we're not going to just be another Battle Royale. So look forward to that. But Battlefield 5, I'm enjoying. There's going to be some more Battlefield 5 content on this channel. I, I slept on that game. There's, it's got a lot of flaws. So I'm, it may be good that I'm kind of getting to it now when it's kind of reached its final state. Um, I'm not spending a ton of time with it, but enough to get the battlefield itch scratched because it played the movement is smooth It's modern like it feels like a modern game I'm gonna stop babbling and show you a clip from Battlefield 4 plus Battlefield 5 equals Battlefield 2042 What the bomber Christ Boys save me Come on squatty medic somebody We've got this place pretty locked down, if you want to help me. Come on, you penises! They me. Yes, they medic. yes, medic. You fucking- No! Oh, God. Oh, thank you, squatty. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I will save you because you were going to save me, sir. You fucking legend. Guys pushing up there. God, about to be a bad day for me. Okay, come on, come on. You're doing a good job leading the smoke. Smart. All right, go and check all those out. I've already been rambling quite a bit, including those clips. So. Check those videos out. Comments and stuff everywhere. You know the drill. Let's talk about more Wheezy stuff. Um, for those of you who don't pay attention to descriptions and stuff like that, or maybe haven't been around a while, um, one thing that's good to know, probably not critical to your Wheezy experience, is I do have a website that I keep synced up with my YouTube channel, wheezysgaming.com. Go bookmark that or whatever. I don't anticipate getting the YouTube ban hammer anytime in the future. We don't cover any controversial content here on this channel, but can't hurt to see, go over to wheezysgaming.com. Right now, you know, side hustle for me, like this, I love putting content on this channel, but it's not self-sustaining yet. I got a day job. Um, that said, I've got, I've got vision for Wheezy's Gaming in the future that goes far beyond simply YouTube. So check out wheezygaming.com. Keep that bookmarked. Keep it in the back of your mind. There's going to be more there. Um, in addition to that, this is the big one. This is my big push. I mean, it's a big enough push that I'm going to probably put another icon in the thumbnail. I did one a while back. And I put a link in every single video. And 
people aren't using it, it's all right. I get it. I'm still a small channel, still growing. So I think it still works. If it doesn't work, fucking let me know. Discord. I have a Weezy's Gaming Discord. So there are the best of the best of Weezy's Minions, people that have been around a while. The Weezy faithful, my good friends that have been hanging around the channel since, I mean, God, what have I been doing this since, like 2009? So what, 12 fucking years I've been on YouTube? Some of you guys have been around a long, long time. You new folk, you're welcome to join my friggin' Discord. Because here's the thing about Discord. Being in my Discord is like being in my phone, right? Like, Discord, when I get messages in my Wheezy's Gaming Discord server, they pop up on my computer, they pop up on my phone. Like, it's basically like a text message to Wheezy. So, someday when I get to 400 million subscribers, <laughs> right? and my Discord's unmanageable. I'll probably make it to where only a couple of the channels notify me, but the Discord, as of right now, is gonna be the way to get a hold of me. I've done this before, I haven't done as much lately because things have been kind of crazy, but if I'm ever about to hop on like Battlefield or, or Call of Duty or anything, and I'm gonna say, hey, I'm gonna hop on if anybody wants to play, I'll throw a message in my Discord. And if you're in there and you're available, and I'm like, hey, anyone wanna play Battlefield 2042? jump in on my party like that's discord right same thing like if i remember to put the links in this um you know but my my psn id my uh usually in my call of duty videos i think the description usually has my activision id in there um so i got my xbox live psn uh id activision account you guys play with me and want to hang out and stuff like that you can get on those friends lists like i'm not you know i'm people i want to play with i need for those of you who've been around a while, I had like a crew that I used to game with. And for various reasons, that is scattered to the wind. I need new people to game with. Right now, I'm gaming solo. And I gotta tell you, it's lonely out there shooting people in the face by myself. I need you, minions. I need you. Uh, is there any other real channel? I have a Facebook page for Weezy's Gaming that I like never check. I don't even post stuff to it anymore. It still lives out there. And if it gets to the point one day where Weezy's Gaming is self-sustaining, that will probably be another platform that I will have to put some time into managing. I wouldn't even bother with it for now. Let's be honest. <laughs> but uh, it exists. I also have a Twitter that I literally never use. Um, so I think it's just at Weezy's Gaming. I don't ever use Twitter. <laughs> All right, I think that's probably, that's really it. I mean, check out Weezy's Gaming. Get, fucking get in my Discord server. I'm gonna start, as more people join in there, I'm gonna flesh out channels. So right now we've got like Call of Duty channel, Battlefield channel, like there's, it's super low. Like I got my faithful in there. There's not a lot of chatter in there. There's like one or two messages every couple of weeks, but like, come on guys, if you like, if you like what you see here, you want people who wanna play with you, people who have like an interest in like Weezy's War College type stuff, who want to have fun, but not be shitty, you know what I mean? Like, not super tryhards, but also not dead weight, you know what I mean? Like, cool people to hang out with. Like, if you're one of them, and you want more people like that to play with, get in my fucking Discord. Like, let's get it going. Let's get it going. Because you don't have to play with me. Play with the other people in my Discord. Like, I play, I play shooters a lot, but there's people in the Discord. They'll play other kind of games. I'm not huge into, like, um, big RPGs. So, but people are, like, check that out. Uh, MMOs, I did, like, I was in, you don't know how fucking old I am. I was in the open fucking beta for World of Warcraft in college. And that's the only time I played World of Warcraft. I played during the entire open beta, and as soon as it went full release, I stopped because I knew I had to get through school. <laughs> uh, I played Star Wars Galaxies back in the day before they changed it. Like, they, they went through, like, a whole big redesign. Back in the days when becoming a Jedi was impossible, like everybody was trying to figure out the secret sauce to try and figure out how to be a Jedi. When I played Galaxies, there were no Jedi. And now I think it's like, if it's even still around, it's like a class you can choose. Like, I want to be a Jedi. That's how old school I was on that. But again, MMOs and stuff like that, not since then. So there's going to be people around. It's a, I'm building a community here, people. I get back to this, but Wheezy's Gaming, as it grows, as it continues to build up, my vision isn't to just be 
the content creator for this channel. It's to build this community so that people can interact. I want to open source my channel. I don't know if you guys care about YouTube licenses. I post every single one of my videos under Creative Commons. I don't, if you guys want to literally take every single video that I have and go and repost it and claim that it's you or do whatever you want with it, make mashups or I don't give a shit. I'm not about that copyright life. <laughs> I, I put stuff out there because I want it to be shared. I work for Red Hat. We're open source company. I, all the code we write, we just basically give it away. Like this is this is how I roll. So I'm building a community here. I want you guys to be a part of it. If you're here now, you are on the ground floor. I know I've been here for 12 years, but I disappeared for like five years in the middle there. You're on the ground floor. You are one of Wheezy's minions in the early times. Get into the Discord. Get on my radar. Be here at the beginning and be part of something greater than us all. I'm going to stop fucking jerking my own crank. <laughs> We're going to wrap up probably what's the longest Wheezy weekly wrapped up in many moons. <laughs> You guys know what I mean. All right, minions. Fuck. Bye. <laughs>